Fairlight Audio is an audio workspace buried in DaVinci Resolve, and today we're going to continue our series on Fairlight with bins, power bins, and smart bins. There are actually three kinds of bins in the media pool. Bins are simply manually populated bins. Drag and drop anything you like into a bin, and that's where it lives until you decide to move it to another bin. Bins may be hierarchically organized so that you can create a Russian doll nest of bins if you like. Creating new bins is as easy as right-clicking with the bin list and choosing Add Bin from the contextual menu. Power bins, however, are hidden by default and are also manually populated bins. The difference is these bins are shared among all of the projects in your current project library, making them ideal for shared title generators, graphic movies and stills, sound effects library files, music files, and other media that you want to be able to quickly and easily access from any project. To create a new power bin, show the power bins area of the bin list and then right click within it and choose add bin. Smart bins are different. Custom rules implying metadata are used to dynamically filter the contents of the media pool whenever you select a smart bin. This makes smart bins a fast way of organizing the contents of projects for which you or one of your assistants has taken the time to enter metadata into the clips using the metadata editor. Adding scene, shot, and take information, keyword comments, and description text, and a myriad of other pieces of information to make it faster to find what you're looking for when you need it. To create a new smart bin, right click within the smart bin area and choose add smart bin. A dialog appears in which you can edit the names of the bin and the rules it uses to filter the clips. Once all of that is set, click create smart bin. If you right click a bin in the bin list, you can choose open as new windows, open that bin in its own window. Each window is its own media pool, complete with its own bin list, power bins, and smart bin lists, and display controls. This is most useful when you have two displays connected to your workstation, as you can drag these separate bins onto the second display, while DaVinci Resolve is in single screen mode. You can have as many additional bins open as you need to, in addition to the main media pool that's docked to the primary window interface. If you're working on a project that has a lot of bins, you can apply color tags to identify the bins with one of eight colors. Tagging bins is as easy as right-clicking any bin and choosing the color you want from the color tag sub-menu. Once you've tagged one or more media pool bins, you can use the color tag filter drop-down menu to the right to filter out all but a single color of bins. To go back to seeing all available bins, choose show all from the color tag filter drop-down. The bin list and smart bin list of the media pool can be sorted by the bin name, date created, date modified, in either ascending or descending order. Simply right-click anywhere within the bin list and choose Choose the options you want to sort by in the submenu. You can also choose user sort from the same menu, which lets you manually drag all bins in the bin list to be in whatever order you like. As you drag the bins in this mode, an orange line indicates the new position the bin will occupy when dropped. If you use the user sort in the bin list to rearrange your bins manually, you can switch back and forth between any of the other sorting methods and user sort. Your manual user sort order will be remembered, making it easy to use whatever method of bin sorting is is most useful at the time without losing your customized bin organization. The media pool in the Fairlight page has one additional feature, the ability to filter out audio only clips or clips with audio in the currently selected bin. This makes it easy to find audio clips that you're looking for, which can be hidden along with tons of video clips in the same bin. To use this feature, click the option menu in the media pool and choose show all clips, show audio only clips or show clips with audio, show audio waveforms and show non-rectified audio waveforms. Here's another playlist of videos I've made about DaVinci Resolve's Fairlight. If you found this helpful, consider subscribing.